It all came down to this, a handwritten sheaf of notes with which José Rubén Zamora made a last-ditch attempt to prove his innocence. After a trial which both he and international rights organizations have denounced as a politicized persecution. This was the verdict. Jose Ruben Zamora is found guilty of money laundering. For this infraction, the sentence is six years of prison. The 66-year-old is the founder of El Periódico, a leading newspaper in Guatemala that regularly investigated authorities, including the president and attorney general. But no more. Last July, he was accused of money laundering and blackmail in a trial which he and his supporters say hasn't resembled anything like justice from the start. All of my rights were violated. We weren't given access to the case file. We were kept 10 days in solitary confinement, without sleeping, subjected to psychological pressure. Things only got worse. I have had nine defense lawyers. The majority were persecuted by the Guatemalan state. Four ended up in prison. Two left the country. Before heading off to serve his term, he was asked if he had a message for the president, Alejandro Giamate. I am still innocent and he is still a thief. And nobody is going to take that away. Under President Giamate, Dozens of judges, prosecutors and journalists have been forced to flee the country or wound up in prison, say civil rights organizations. It's a backlash orchestrated by Guatemala's minority elite after a UN-backed anti-corruption commission put them under the spotlight before being kicked out of the country in 2019, says Claudia Ordonez from Article 19. Now comes the revenge against operators of justice and journalists who had a moment of freedom and calm to do independent, critical work. And we're seeing that now against rights defenders and journalists. We have 20 people registered as having fled. Now Guatemala's coming up to elections in under two weeks' time, with another voice silenced, and more questions than ever about its wobbling democracy. John Holman, Al Jazeera.